I'm just looking at this quote from Abraham Hicks, Law of Attraction uh, Channeler. Uh, you cannot struggle your way to joy. Struggle and joy are not the same channel. You joy your way to joy. You laugh your way to success. It is through your joy that good things come. Abraham. And you know, I, I love the teachings of Abraham. I actually went and, and saw them live. Uh, once and it, it was powerful it, it definitely I came away uplifted from it and I find it I do find it very very uplifting a lot of their stuff um, what, what I find it is it's difficult for a lot of people a lot of people see that and they, but there's nothing to grasp onto there's no strategy there and uh, and, and what I find is it, it doesn't work so much it doesn't work so much you know struggle is, is not a bad thing. People think they're struggling and they think they're bad or in the, they're in the wrong place or they should be joyous and they should be struggling and they should be grateful and they're not grateful and then they beat themselves up for it and all this sort of stuff. And, and my experience is that when I look back, and this, I find the struggles have strengthened me. The struggles I've had in my life, they, they've strengthened me. They, they've made me reach deep down inside of myself and bring out... Um, you know, a being of myself that I, I didn't know existed, you know, so it's really been through the struggles that I have been forged. Who I am right now, I've been forged through my struggles. Um, and so, so when I read that, it's, I, I don't make a full connection to it. Even though I like it, it sounds nice, and I do get something from Abraham Hicks. Um, I am uplifted by it in, in a way. Uh, there's, there's just a, a slight disconnect there. And, and I know a lot of people struggle with that sort of stuff because, because of that. And, uh, you know, I've had experiences, like one of my experiences that's probably the, the biggest struggle in my life. The biggest struggle in my life at that time with who I am now, I wouldn't struggle with it so much. But who I was back then in my mid-20s, uh, very e ego, um, egocentric person was... Uh, was um, I, I was married, and, and my, my wife left me, and it was like, it was like a sledgehammer in the face. I, I didn't think it was going to happen, and it just happened, just like that, you know? And it, and it was very, very traumatic for myself, um, and I was, in a sh I was in a struggle. I was in a real struggle. Um, I, I couldn't go back to my job. I, was, I, I became completely broke. Um, I, I just couldn't face the world. Uh, I would see people who I hadn't seen in a while, and I would turn the opposite direction so I wouldn't have to speak to them because if they asked me anything about myself I was afraid I was going to just bust out, burst out crying you know that, that's the sort of state I was in so uh, I found myself a, my strategy was I found myself a, a good uh, drinking buddy and, uh, and we just partied a lot and, uh, and all day long we would just smoke big reefers you know we would just like roll big fat ones and we would smoke them all day just just to kind of not just to numb ourselves out because he was in the same situation as me we were kind of you know birds of a feather flock together and then his his girl just left him and uh, he, was, he was an old friend of mine so we just started hanging out together and that's what we did all day we smoked big reefers and, and every night we just uh, you know got got on the beer went out um had uh casual relationships and uh and that's what we did, and it was a very poor strategy. I, like I said, I was completely, completely broke, and that's that's what we did. Um, my my health was starting to go down because of it, and everything. It was obviously it's just not a good strategy. Just you know, drinking and smoking joints is not a good strategy to uh, to live your life, and just uh, hiding away from the reality. So I realized that it just didn't work. My strategy while okay for a while it numbed me out for a while oh, yeah yeah maybe it, it it stopped me from uh, from completely breaking down and you know going into a completely snotty mess um distracted me for a while but it wasn't a good long-term strategy so what worked what worked when i struggled was i changed my strategy and i got to work and when you're struggling here's the thing get to work and that's what i did I went and I got a job as a steel erector, one of the most physically demanding jobs and dangerous jobs as well. And I would work 13 hours a day on, um, on this huge site. And I could be like eight stories high holding on to this piece of steel that weighs 30 tons. 
and clamping it together with another one. Being, I have to be very, very present. I didn't, I didn't have any time to be in my victimhood, my poor me, what had happened to me, because I had to be very present, because I could lose my fingers like that when I'm taking a 30-ton piece of steel and clamping it together with another one, getting bolts this size and screwing them in. Um, it, was, it was a very, very physically demanding job and a very dangerous job. You have to be very, very present or else you could die or else you could get your fingers cut off or whatever, you know. And, uh, so, and so, so I did that. And then on the weekends, I worked as a bouncer. Again, I, 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 I channeled my struggles. You know, I worked as a bouncer, so I was in confrontations all the time but having to deal with them in this very centered way. And then every night I went to the gym. I went to the gym and I just pumped iron. So I struggled in the gym. I, t I channeled my struggles into better things, into work. I, 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 I got stronger than ever at the time. I, I was pumping weights, putting it all in there every time I went into the gym. And that's what I did. And when I wasn't in the gym and when I wasn't working and when I wasn't you know, in the nightclub working as a bouncer, I was reading and listening to audios. I was reading personal development books and I was listening to personal development audios to try and sort my head out, you know, to try and sort myself out, to try and get a new perspective on life. And I, I, that's what I did for, for a year, just constantly. And suddenly I made, I made my money back and I, I, because I was just working 60, 70 hours a week, I wasn't spending any money, I was saving a ton of money, paying off my debts and uh, got my body strong again, really strong. And then that, 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 I did that for a year. And then the next year, I opened up my own business, which a successful business. I, I bought a house. I, I met Victoria, who I've not been with for almost 10 years. Um, and uh, and that, that was a great year. That was a great year. And it, it was only a great year is because I was struggling. And instead of in my struggle, go, okay, I'm just going to sit here and feel joy instead. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get joy from feeling joy. I said, no, I'm gonna have a strategy to channel my struggles into something. And I just worked my ass off with a strategy. And that's what did it. That's what did it. That's what brought me to a place of joy, was channeling my struggles and working my ass off. And you know, that's the thing that's maybe missing from the law of attraction is that thing called work. If she, she just took that, they just took that, that, that quote there and just Clamped into the middle, stamped on it, work your ass off as well to, to joy. You can actually do it. You can work your ass off to joy, I, believe me. Uh, you channel your struggles. Instead of sitting there in your victimhood, whatever struggle you're going through right now, whatever you're struggling with, you know, struggle forward and have a strategy. Create a strategy. Um, and that's what I did and that's how I changed my life. Is I focused my energy. I channeled my struggles. Instead of sitting there and drowning my sorrows, um, when I did that for a little while, um, instead of doing that long term, um, I saw that it wasn't working. It wasn't a workable strategy long term. And so then I made a change and that change worked. So there you go. Law of attraction, all great. Just stamp work your ass off in the middle of it and it really works very well. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.